Hey guys, it's Mike here and I'm going to be showing you how I make a pebble and sand filter for biological filtration for my 300 gallon stock tank. I already have one running on my 150 gallon stock tank. That was kind of a test. Turned out okay. I wouldn't give it a perfect 10 out of 10. There were some slight things that went wrong with it. This time around I'm going to see if I can avoid some of those things. So what we're going to need for this is we're going to need three quarter inch hole saw, a one inch hole saw, three quarter inch and one inch bulkheads. Also very important, you want a one inch, uh, not a one inch, a half an inch one way valve because I'm actually going from a half an inch to a three quarter inch because the local fish store only had three quarter inch bulkheads as their smallest um, fitting. So. You want, definitely want this one-way valve because when you shut this off, your sand starts to back siphon and you don't want it back siphoning into your pump because your pump won't turn back on. It'll get clogged up. So what we're going to use also besides this as my filter is this blue bucket. This thing holds a lot of media. You guys obviously don't have to go this large. I decided to go this large because for me, it's go big or go home. So I'm going to use this. At the bottom is going to be my three quarter inch bulkhead at the top is going to be the one inch. The one inch is going to be the output back into the system. The three quarter inch is going to be the input from the pump. Okay, And in theory it's going to go through the bottom, travel up the top through all the media and out the top to pot not only polish the water but it's also going to give good biological filtration. Okay, so now that I have the bulkheads installed, I'm going to put my reducers in here so I can go from the half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So I have to cut a piece of PVC pipe to go between these two and um, then it'll fit up real nicely. So I'm rinsing off my lava rock. And this should be almost ready, once it's rinsed for a while, it'll be almost ready to, to get going. So I mean, what better thing to rinse off your lava rock within the filter itself? <laughs> also, I want to show you before I have it all completely capped off, I have red lava rock under here and the sand going on top. And I'll be... Alright, so here you are guys, installed. Uh, this has only been running for probably about 30 minutes, but it's already getting clearer within this pond. You're starting to see the, uh, the pots that I planted these lily pads in down there. This is the prototype, as I was talking about. It's got some leaks. It's basically I tried to do it a different way without the bulkheads first, and it's not drilled a little bit bigger than it should, but as you can see up here, the water is crystal clear. That's being filtered through the sand. And uh, eventually this will be crystal clear. We'll do updates as the day's progress and other videos. But this one right here, as you can tell, not quite as leaky, a lot better. And again, crystal clear. It's a little bit slower flow going to that one. So there's not as much sand movement, but that's okay. Uh, I might actually lower this on here to get less sand movement. Though there's no sand getting out of the hole um, for the return, so it should be fine. But now I got both of them going. These are my two of my biological filters. And at the end of the day, this should be really beneficial for the entire system. We should be obtaining perfect um, visibility through the water. Like, as I said, this is getting much clearer and this has only been running for a little bit. So after running for about a day or so, it should be very clear. And this has always been clear, so I'm not really too concerned about this, but a little quick update. Tons of water wisteria, lots. <laughs> Got a lot of water wisteria. They are in my eBay store, so if you guys want to buy some, there, there's plenty that are available there. I got tons of the copa as well. More water wisteria. My swords are all doing really good. Starting to grow new growth. 
So every single one of them is doing amazing. Really happy. I've got some endless coming in the, the video. Not sure if you can see them or not, but they're swimming around. Anyway, guys, this is it. I tried to get every step of the way. It's really too hot right now to be staying out here with the camera. So I did my best to do it. You guys kind of get the idea of what I did and how it works. So sum it up. Water goes from this pipe through the one-way valve into the bottom, all the way through the sand and out the top for biological filtration. You guys have a great day. Please comment, please throw me a like, and please subscribe. I'll talk to you later.